students i'm dr vaishali bharande i've been te teaching anatomy for last 25 years and i love it now i'm starting my central nervous system lectures it's beginning with a lecture series on spinal cord so vb anatomy covers spinal cord over 13 to 14 lectures you must be wondering what are you teaching in 13 14 lectures these are short lecture short lectures which give you a uh, parts of spinal cord in small capsules so you got spinal cord coverings spinal cord lying in the vertebral column then you will have spinal cord internal organization then you will have um, ascending tracts descending tracts lectures on spinal cord lesions blood supply of spinal cord and then you will have pg entrance mcqs on spinal cord with explanations of course my draw and label series is always going to be there so in this small capsule spinal cord is covered okay over next 2 3 months take a look at how we cover them so suppose you have a fine touch sensation in the body it's picked up by the first order neuron lying in the dorsal root ganglion these fibers travel through the posterior funiculus and they relay into the second order neuron lying in the medulla oblongata these fibers can be seen crossing over to the opposite side ascending upwards to relay into the contralateral thalamus fibers of the third order neuron from the thalamus relay into the cerebral cortex of the opposite side it's important at this point for all of us to note that fibers cross at the level of uh, medulla oblongata so sensation in the on the left side has relayed into the contralateral cerebellum crossing over at the level of medulla oblongata these fine sensations will relay in the cerebral cortex we will then discuss in short what is sensory homunculus and what is the basis of uh, how much area is accorded to a body part in the sensory cortex uh, so what is the, what are the sensations which are felt by cerebral cortex or which are perceived the sensations perceived could be touch it could be tactile localization it could be stereognosis ability and so on okay so let's take for example what happens when you feel pain you feel pain because pain is picked up by a receptor relayed into the first order neuron in the dorsal root ganglion the axon of this carries this sensation into the posterior gray horn of spinal cord and relays it there end of first order neuron the second order neuron now begins crossing over to the opposite side contralateral spinal cord and begins to ascend upwards in the form of a tract called the lateral spinothalamic tract this is how lateral spinothalamic tracts are formed carrying pain temperature sensation even the fibers localization within the spinal cord is studied this is called somatic arrangement and this somatic arrangement or somatotopic arrangement helps you to understand when a tumor grows inwards what are the symptoms patient can come up with okay or when the tumor grows outwards from inside what are the, what are the what is the history the patient will give you here you are seeing pyramids in the medulla and how these fibers are crossing over to the opposite side to form lateral coracospinal tract most of these spinal cord lectures are based on a number of images to not only stimulate your understanding but also to create a visual image in your brain which will help you to remember and have a better recall then is there will be a brief discussion about uh, spinal cord lesions as well such as in this case you can see tabes dorsalis you can see that the patient is having a romberg sign positive then we've discussed procedures like lumbar puncture take a look this is your dura meter this is your arachnoid meter and this my dear students it's a subarachnoid space you can see that the needle has entered into the subarachnoid space where it has entered between l3 and l4 spines okay you put in the needle and now see how the spinal tap the csf tapping is being done and css is being collected why here why not at a higher level all that gets discussed under lumbar puncture 
So all these lectures will be released over a period of two months or more. Okay, do please see them, understand spinal cord well. Each of these lectures will be later on available on my website. Here is the my website. Okay, on which the they are all these lectures links are available. They are separately uh, put together as cross anatomy lectures, histology, embryology. You will also find PG entrance based MCQs for all these subjects on the website. I am doing my best to provide as much information to you students uh, so that you feel comfortable learning anatomy and understand its importance in the field of medicine. After the initial 2-3 months when these lectures will be freely available on YouTube, Later on, these lectures will be available from my website for a nominal payment. Okay? This is only to ensure that you all begin to uh, access my website which gives you so much more. It also gives you notes, it also gives you MCQs. So do please visit the website later in case you continue to remain interested in learning about the spinal cord. So thank you students, uh, see you across the screen to learn the spinal cord. Bye.